Welcome to the Table of Ultimate Gaming. Let's assemble your table. You're going to need a friend, a soft surface, and maybe an electric screwdriver. It's totally optional. Please be sure to watch the orientation of all of the pieces and make sure that they go together correctly. Also make sure that the countersink for screws is oriented to the outside of the table. This means that the screw heads will fit perfectly for a strong attachment and a clean look. There's a countersink right there, that extra space for the screw heads. In step one, we are going to connect parts A and B. You're going to be using these screws with nut barrels. Please rotate these with your hands first and make certain that they fit well. Then later finish with the wrench or an electric screwdriver. Never ever try to force the screw in with the nut if they don't go together easily. It's better to replace them. Also, if you are using an electric screwdriver, please finish tightening by hand. Often, power tools don't have the same strength as your hand does. In step two, we will be attaching part F. Please note that we are attaching the side of part F with a notch in it to the outer edge of the table. This notch is where the leg will later be seated in the corner of the table. Step three, use the larger size pegs to line up part D and attach it evenly to the rest of the table. Now we're going to be using screws and nut barrels to attach D firmly to the table. Remember to screw them in with your hands first before using a tool to tighten them. Now we're going to be attaching part E with the thicker pegs. Once again, please bear in mind that the end with a notch in it should be closest to the edge. This is where a leg will go, right in the corner of the table. Now use the larger pegs to align part C and part E. You are going to fasten part C in place using screws and nut barrels. Remember, do it by hand first. Also, just as a little warning, Please be very, very, very careful only to use the screws indicated in the instructions. Using the wrong screws can actually damage the table. We're going to use screws and nut barrels to fasten part C to the outer edge of the table. As an aside, you can now clearly see the guide rails that will secure your tabletops and allow you to use them as a desk. Now we're going to use the screws and nut barrels to fit the third side of the table on. It's really coming together now.
step 10, we are once again securing the corners with screws and nut barrels. Secure part F with large pegs. Remember, the notched part of part F needs to go where the corner of the table is going to be. That's where the leg is going to slide in place. Using the larger pegs, Affix part F to part D. Secure part D with screws and nut barrels. Once again, remember, please be careful with the screws and nut barrels. Don't force them. Use your hands to tighten them first, and if the screw does not fit well into the nut barrel, get another screw or nut barrel. Use the large pegs to affix part E to the rest of the frame. Remember, the notch is where the legs are going to affix to the corner of the table, so make sure that that notch is on the outside. Now we're going to slide the fourth side of the table into place. Now you want to secure the piece in place using screws and nut barrels. This is also a good time to do a quick visual check that the slots on the table line up with the rails that are going to hold the tabletops in place. Secure the middle rail using screws and nut barrels. And now we're going to secure the corner piece with screws and nut barrels.
you're going to slide the legs into the corners of the tables. But be very careful, it's easy to get it upside down. Make sure that these holes right here are at the bottom. Now once you're certain that the legs are oriented correctly, go ahead and use the screws and nut barrels to fasten them in place. It's helpful to use two Allen wrenches here, one behind the leg to hold the nut barrel in place and the other in front to tighten the screws. As a quick check, make sure that all the magnets on the table, both on the legs and on the body of the table, are facing outside. If they're not, you need to reevaluate your construction and figure out what went wrong. With help, flip the table over. Then, use the two large pegs to secure the two halves of the play surface together. At this point, you can put the mat on the play surface. This is more important if you are going to be using the shallow depth than the deeper depth. Using the small pegs, attach the corner pieces to either end of the rail. For aesthetic purposes, I recommend you remove the sticker before you continue. Use a peg to attach the corner pieces to the rail. Watch your orientation, it's easy to get it backwards. Now you're going to attach the rails to the play surface using screws and nut barrels. This is where you decide what play depth you want. First put the nut barrels in. Now if you're going to use the deeper play depth, which is what we're putting together today, you're going to want to put the screws in the lower holes. For the shallower play depth, the higher holes. You'll need someone to help you hold this in place while you screw the screws into the nut barrels. going to put the shorter sides on the table using the pegs to hold them in place before we screw them in.
we're going to secure the shorter edges with screws and nut barrels. Once again, it can be useful to hold the nut barrel in place with one Allen wrench while fastening the screw with the other. Use screws and nut barrels to secure the corners of the table. We're going to repeat this procedure for the other side. First, we're going to attach the end piece using wooden pegs. Again, have someone to help you hold this in place. If you find that there are small gaps left in the seams along the table rail, you can use a rubber mallet and very, very gently tap it into place, but it's not necessary. We're going to now secure the rails in place using screws and nut barrels. For the deeper play depth, you're going to want to use the lower guide holes. For the shallower play depth, you'll want to use the higher ones. We're showing you the deeper play depth here. Now we're securing this side of the table with screws and nut barrels. Secure this corner support to the table using screws. it's time to attach the outlet. Feed the wire through the outlet hole and then screw the outlet plate in place.
support the tabletops, use a tabletop support bar, either upright for the deep play surface or on its side for the shallow play surface. Now for the fun part, snap on the magnetic deco packs. Finally, use the buttons to cover any screws that are still visible. And now it's game time. Enjoy!